All right, good morning, everyone. Litter number five is here. We had a very, very long break. Uh, over the winter, last fall and last winter, I had surgery twice within six months. And so I really wasn't feeling like I was gonna be up to <laughs> handling these guys. So I took some time off and uh, just in time for kitten season, we are back at it. And can you smell it, news? I'm stepping it. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job of showing the kittens are kind of all over the place. They're only about three weeks old. Um, they're just barely kind of figuring out food. I've got a bottle for them too in case they won't eat this. I put a little water in it because I was afraid they were dehydrated. Can you try that, goes? Can you try that? For Betsy. Alright, well, let me try to feed these guys and I'll be back. <laughs> so. The kittens are, are having a little difficulty eating. Uh, they're not really understanding the bottle. They don't latch on, kind of dripping it on their tongue and getting some in them that way. And then uh, basically kind of force feeding them wet food. You know, they cry, they open their mouth, they shove some in and they eat it. But they're not really going for it on their own yet. <laughs> We're not coordinated yet. <laughs> they're trying to play a little bit, but they're so clumsy still that they mostly just tip over. It's pretty cute. The girl, Maria, when I can get her to latch onto the bottle, <laughs> at the same rhythm that she sucks on the bottle, her ears wiggle, and it is the cutest friggin' thing I've ever seen, and I just can't get it. I can't feed her the bottle and do the camera at the same time because I'm doing it on my phone. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get a video of that, but it, when I tell you, cute, you, you can't even imagine how freaking cute it is. Um, so they're doing okay. They're, they gained a little bit the first day. Um, the boy is maintaining his weight. The girl has lost just the tiniest bit, like two tenths of an ounce. I mean, very small. They're they're pretty much maintaining. They're not packing on the pounds yet because I'm still trying to really figure out how to best feed them. Um, one of them did poop already though. We got a little poop in the box. I, I put it in the box. They didn't do that. They do it on the pad, but um, I've been stimulating them to pee and I was a little concerned because neither of them had pooped yet. So we know that at least one has, and they've only been here. Today's it's very early Friday morning and they just got here Wednesday afternoon. So not even, you know, it's only been like a day and a half. So they're, they're fine. One of them has pooped, the other one probably will today. There they go. Now they're, see, they're trying to play. They're just so uncoordinated, it's great. They're so funny. I really need to get them back in on the heating pad. This floor is cold, but they're they're wanting to explore already, which kind of surprises me at this young age. Uh, oh. <laughs> they get going and their front stops, but the back end keeps going and they, they go right ass over tea kettle. <laughs> Just unbelievably cute, these guys. Ugh, killing me. So the folks at the shelter named them after two people that work at the shelter. So the, the black and white is the boy and his name is Francisco and the calico is female and her name is Maria. And so I would expect them to be with me for probably at least a few weeks, maybe a little longer, um, maybe a month, I don't know, we'll see how they do. They don't appear to be sick. They, they're they just so young. I mean, I don't even think her eyes are completely all the way open. Their ears are still a little bit folded over. They hear well, though. As soon as I come in the room, they start to cry and they want attention. So, you know, they can hear and they can see. And, you know, they're, they're getting there. They're just, they're right at that 
kind of in between where they really would do better with their mom, but uh, but we're gonna get them through it, and, uh, and they'll be ready for adoption probably in a month or so. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to check in. This is I know a shitty video. I'm terrible at this. I don't have a um, a thing to set my phone on so that it can record while I do other stuff with both hands. So I'm holding the phone and. Uh, I'll try to figure out a better way to do that if I'm going to start doing really a lot of these videos. But I wanted you guys to see them and see how they're doing. And I think they're going to be okay. They're <laughs> She's off like a shot. I can't believe how, uh, how brave they are. She's the explorer for sure. She's been all over this room already. But I do need to get them back in on the heat source. They really probably shouldn't be on this cold floor. So I'm going to call it quits for now, try to get them to eat a little bit more, and then put them back to bed. And we'll see you soon.